Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzer. Hi, Huckleberry. We are at Quakertown Vet Hospital to have an x-ray done for Miss Huckleberry for a puppy count. Yeah, very exciting. So Huckleberry, it appears, is having four puppies. And so we have, we, we look at first heads and Dr. Lukenbach is going to show us what she's seeing here, but I wanted to show you the x-ray. Back at home from the vet, and this is where I spend a lot of time doing my work. Huckleberry is laying right next to me here. And I keep a really close eye on her because she will be going into labor any time now. Part of what I love about my own office is how bright and sunny it is. And it's also a regular that my puppies, my dogs will come lay right in the spot that's bright and sunny. Hi, Huckleberry, you're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Huckleberry looks so cute like this as a big teddy bear. I have a suspicion though, that with her puppies coming, it would be better if I make this haircut much shorter so that we're not having to comb or brush her every day over the next several days after her puppies arrive. So I'm thinking about it right now, taking this coat down a little bit shorter. Huckleberry, you are so adorable, and I just love her coat. Her coat can be done in a traditional schnauzer and look straight, or as you see here, teddy bear and somewhat curly. Huckleberry, you look so cute. She did such a great job on the grooming table. Yes, you did, Huckleberry. It's pretty early in the morning and Huckleberry and I are in my office working. The other puppies have activities going on downstairs, but I've got my eye on Miss Huckleberry. Hi, Huckleberry. How are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Hmm. Getting ready for those puppies to arrive? Yes, your belly is looking really nice. But Huckleberry, I've noticed something. Your milk hasn't come in yet. I'm wondering about that. Hmm. To figure out what that means. Little Miss Huckleberry here is doing what she needs to do. Sometimes there's some digging going on, but I have to laugh. I have everything all set up in here for Huckleberry. <laughs> and I came in here to find Honeybee. Now, Honeybee's puppies are not in there with her, mind you. Honeybee's puppies are downstairs, but Honeybee often can have free run of my house. And so she has brought her little bone, her little marrow bone up here, gotten into the little uh, whelping box area, and uh, she's taken over. <laughs> Honeybee, you are so funny. When I came in a minute ago, she was looking right at me, and I could not stop laughing, and I think she... Did your feelings get hurt that I was laughing at you? You say, no, I just want my bone. I want my marrow bone and I don't want anybody bothering me. So I'm hiding. This is not uncommon. Huckleberry has decided that she is wanting to have her puppies in my laundry basket. <laughs> she has scooted my laundry, my clothes, a little aside so that you can see how she has positioned herself. I will turn the light back off and come sit next to her for a while until she's really actually having her first puppy. I have covered my own bed in whelping pads and then potty pads. I have my ottoman right here that I like to sit on. When she starts having that first puppy right after whatever the pr first puppy is born, I'll bring her right here and then I've got my whole setup ready to go to help her with her whelping experience. In the past, I used to use my own bare hands as I was helping with puppies, pulling puppies, uh, pulling is probably too strong, but helping puppies out and then getting them out of their sack. And my friend Catherine uh, in Canada, uh, recommended that instead I use these kinds of cloths. So you can see I've got a collection of clean, ready to go, and they are right here with all of my supplies. This is Huckleberry's first litter, 
And I often wonder what is going through a mom dog's mind at this stage. She's never been through anything quite like this before. And her body is taking over. She doesn't have much control, if you will. And she's got to act on pure instinct here. And so, of course, she knows I'm right here with her and I will help her each step of the way. For the last hour, Huckleberry has been in my laundry basket and she occasionally will do some panting. Everything is fine. She's fine. She's not in duress. When I walk into the room and turn the light on, she wags her tail and is happy to see me. And I just keep checking on her. Huckleberry, this space is going to be better than the laundry basket. She's got to check everything out. And then she'll lay down and relax here. Yeah, it's going to be all right. Despite my best efforts to get her out of the closet, she keeps coming back to the area right under my pants. So, okay. I've put a potty pad in the laundry basket and we are ready. It's fine with me. If this is where she wants to have her first puppy, I will let her do that. There is a puppy in the birth canal right now and she is about to deliver it. So I lifted her up and put her on my bed so that she's at my eye level, which makes it much easier for me to help once the puppy is born. So within a few minutes here, I don't know if you can see the bulge right under her tail, but that is a puppy in the birth canal. Huckleberry's first puppy has arrived, and it is a black party girl who's probably going to look a lot like Huckleberry. Good job, Huckleberry. And what a fabulous job you did, Miss Huckleberry. So the x-ray at Quakertown Vet Hospital said she was having four puppies. The x-ray was wrong. Miss Huckleberry has five thriving little puppies. Two are black and silver, and three are black party with, it looks like tan or maybe red spots. We'll have to see how that fills in. Good job. These puppies began being born on Friday night, July 12th. This is the first little one who was born, and this is a little party girl. I've had two hours of sleep, <laughs> and so I am going to now try to weigh them, and let's see how I do on very little sleep. So the first little girl in Huckleberry's litter at this moment weighs 4.8 ounces and I am giving each of the puppies some nurture mate colostrum this morning. They all have a very strong desire to nurse and they are eating extremely well. I give them the colostrum to help build a super strong immune system in addition to the immune system that they're getting from mom. One of the ways that I can tell this first little girl apart is that she has that spot on the top of her head. From there on, it's easy because the puppies are different genders based on their colors. I also want to point out that she has what are called tan points or so she would be a black and silver party. So she's going to have the eye dots and some coloring. It will be three colors, I guess is another way of saying this on her body. This is the second puppy that was born. This is a black and silver boy. Let's see how much he weighs. He also weighs 4.8 
ounces, and I will be giving him some of the Nature Mate colostrum also. You can see he has a wonderful reflex to nurse and he's thriving. I wanted to show you also that he has this wonderful white blaze on his chest. I have a suspicion that he is going to be black and red given the coloring that I'm seeing here. We'll see. I think he's going to be a black and red phantom with this beautiful white chest. Next born was this black party boy. So he was number three. And let's see, what does he weigh? This little boy weighs 5.1 ounces. You can see his coloring here. He will also have those tan points above his eyes and along his beard. So he would be called a black and silver party. You can see here that his front is solid white. So this is his chest. And then on his back, he has some of those beautiful black party markings. And he is very happy about the colostrum I just gave him and wanting more. The next puppy that Huckleberry delivered is this little girl who appears to be probably a black and silver or black and red, again with that beautiful blaze of white on her chest. And the scale is saying that she weighs 5.4 ounces. So at the moment, she is our biggest puppy, this little girl. Let's see how much colostrum she would like this morning. She is also very eagerly nursing on the colostrum happily taking in this wonderful immune building substance that augments her mother's milk. I recently talked about tails and the fact that certain puppies, it is very clear where their tail needs to be docked. And on these puppies that are this color, you can see, <laughs> if I can get that right, very easily there's a spot where the color ends and that would be where we would dock her tail. And this is the fifth puppy. Another black and silver, or maybe black and red, party girl. And she is easy to distinguish. She has lots of black on her and the top of her head has this white spot, but she has a black head. Let's see what she weighs. Gail says she is five ounces even. So again, even on this coloring, the tail where it would be docked is so easy to distinguish because the white under her tail enables us to see. Hopefully you can see that. I'm obviously doing this with one hand and being very careful. But this was our fifth puppy, another girl. So we have three girls and two boys in this litter. Good job, Miss Huckleberry. The puppies began arriving on Friday, July 12th, 2024, very late in the evening. And so these puppies were actually born on July 13th, but I'm going to keep their, their delivery date the same so that I don't confuse vet records and such. This is the first time Huckleberry has gotten up to drink some water. And so I thought you might like seeing what the puppies look like as they move around. This is one of those places where I might be able to show you the tail distinctions that we've been talking about a little bit more easily. See where that white right there ends? That's the perfect mark. And all of these puppies have what we could call that 
perfect mark where the veterinarian who's doing the tail docking can just cut right there. So I don't need to use a black Sharpie marker to indicate where the tails will be docked. Yesterday, while Huckleberry was in labor, she kept carrying these two toys around and would take them with her. She'd go get one and then bring it where we were and she'd go get the next one and bring it to. So I've just included them in case that's part of what she <laughs> she's still looking for. But I have a suspicion now that these little puppies are here, she won't be looking for those toys so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and put a comment below. Let us know what you liked about this video. For more about what to expect from an SVCC toy schnauzer, check out my website here, Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzers, and you will find what makes an SVCC schnauzer so special, our list of benefits starts off with a 10-year genetic health guarantee, potty trained, family raised, early socialization, up to date with vet exams, vaccinations, deworming, microchipped, a optional one month of complimentary pet insurance if you would like it, video updates, our schnauzer or schnoodle user manual, guidance from me about how to integrate your puppy into your home, do claws have been removed, the first full grooming in either the teddy bear or the traditional schnauzer style, crate acclimated, chew toy conditioned, and there are many other benefits that you will find here on our website. Check it out, svcctoys.com.